we were going to do 9,000 ounces this year. Half of that was supposed to come out of the Indian River. The money invested here is huge. We had seven cuts here stripped, ready to go. So there's probably give or take $10 million here laying to be picked up, four or 5,000 ounces for sure. For two years, Klondike kingpin Tony Beats has been trying to unlock his gold-rich ground on Indian River. His problems started with a gut punch in 2019. We don't have a water license. They have to leave. Denied a water permit, he tried again the next year. Well, sucks. Now we're right back to square one. After striking out twice, he applied again this year, only to be crushed once more. So, no license. This season is pretty well down the tube. Now, at Paradise Hill, Tony's running 350 yards an hour of White Channel pay through Mike's trommel, hoping to hit 4,500 ounces. We've had a relatively successful season, but I'm disappointed that we couldn't get into the Indian and reach that 9,000 ounce goal. But the king hasn't given up on his prized Indian River yet. Yellow. Hi, Tony. He's brought in a hired gun to advise on a new application. We took soil samples. We did a small vegetation inventory. I'm completely encouraged by what we saw. I have 95% confidence that this license should and will be issued. That would be awesome because there is a, a lot of money at stake. After three years, Tony now believes again that a new license is imminent and he doesn't want to waste any time. If we do get a license in the Indian River, we're gonna have to get this trommel up and rolling because we got a pretty late start. We got the 50 ton crane coming up so we can lift this thing up and put it on the trunnions. It'd be nice to get this trommel finished so we can put it out in the Indian River. To be ready to sluice the Indian River claims, Tony's breaking out the 40 foot BC trommel. I like to bring it to the Indian River. There is a chance we may get a license this year. If we do, at least we'll have this trauma laying there and ready to go. At Paradise Hill, Tony Beats is loading the 10-ton BC trauma to haul it 40 miles to Indian River. We're gonna have to take that little feed hopper off, otherwise it's in the way when we lift it up. Okay, lift it up, Monica. Yeah. There we go. Swing and put it over there, would you please? Oh, so far, so good. We're gonna lift the trommel up, and then we'll slide the skid out. And then after we slide the skid out, we'll load that on a trailer, and then we'll come back in with another trailer, and we'll just put the trommel on that one. Okay, tighten the cables, gentlemen, tighten the cables. More, 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 more. All right there. Okay, gentlemen, give it a try. See what we can do. Lift the thing up, lift the thing up, up. Good, all right there. Monica. Good job. Keep her coming, keep her coming. That's good. Yeah, I want two over on this side, and I want two over here. Monica, I think we got enough. All right there. Okay, Mike down. Down, 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 down. Okay, land, let it down, land, let it down, please. Good, hold it right there.
That's all you can do, Kevin. The massive load is so dangerous, Tony turns to the only person he trusts to drive it, himself. Moving equipment's always pretty tough. Anyway, we'll get this one set up down the hill. We're gonna get the other one loaded, and then two trucks in the river, off they go. So we got the trouble on the way, we got the skid on the way. We have a little dozer. All right, nicely cruising, road looks good. Then we'll drop them off and see if we can make it home for supper, I guess. I can make it down. You what? I just heard a large pop from my engine and I lost a lot of power. I think my turbo just went. Bingo. I was going to have lunch. Hi, family. Hey, guys. Hi, guys. Hola. Hola. Buenos dias. <gasps> There's a baby. There's a baby on the table. We have lots of babies on the table, it seems like. Like every time. So, this week went pretty good, huh? Yeah, loading that trouble went good. We had some troubles bringing the crane up the hill, though. Uh, so, in all that commotion, you still sluiced all week, right? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Old Faithful never stops. No, that thing just keeps on rolling. That thing does fine. Anyway, so what do you guys want to do? Wait a up, see what we got there with. To reach his 4,500-ounce season goal, Tony needs 370 ounces a week. You ready, Mike? Oh, yeah. Are you ready? Let's do this thing, chicken wings. Three, two, one, go. Four. Five. Ten. Forty. Fifty. Seventy. Hundred. One twenty. One sixty. One seventy. Two hundred. Two ten. Two fifty. Two sixty. Three hundred. Keep going. Three oh six point nine eight. Worth. Over five hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That wasn't a bad week, though. They're over three hundred again, so that's nice. I think so. Mm -hmm. But at least you know we have something to look forward to next year. And if we get back into the Indian next season, these gold weights should double on us. And the goal we had set, having both properties on the go, was not out of line. But like a All wise right. man always says, don't count it until it's dried and weighed. That's correct. But we'll get to that point. Oh. <laughs> but on that note. We need a GTFO. Yeah, yeah. I do. I leave it. Leave it.